Hi guys, okay, so today I thought I would do me August favourite. Now I forgot I'd done favourite. <laughs> um so thought I would do it. I'll have to use my phone because I've wrote all my favourites down in the past month. <laughs> Yeah, that I've wrote it all down so I will be looking at my phone plus the stuff on my phone that I want to show you so yeah let's get into this video right now in August I ordered a new foundation I've been using it since then and I am absolutely in love with it now it's a small bottle so I thought that it wouldn't be too much but no it's actually perfect so it's a bit dirty the packaging because it's been in my makeup bag and loads of makeup like spilled and came out of my makeup bag but this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation it's that um, it's in like a 30ml bottle but that 30ml bottle I've been using it for a month and it still hasn't run out so yeah foundation um nails now i've been loving it's a page on facebook and ebay and a page on instagram it's the same person it's nails by zoe i'll put links down below and i'll put across here the instagram name go follow it and have a look at the nails the nails are beautiful i'll include some videos because i haven't got any on at the moment but next week's video hopefully i'll probably have some on i'm just letting my nails have a break um so I'll include videos now. Right, deodorant. This is a stupid one, but I have been loving this deodorant. It's like not too in your face of a scent. It's um like very subtle. Uh, it's Garnier Mineral, 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 Invisible, black, white, and coloured. It's in that bottle there, and I've literally been loving it. I've been using it since. Um, it was it's in Asda on offer for two pounds. I'm not promoting it or anything, I'm just saying it in Asda for £2, so if you want to try it, I would try it for that, because it'll probably go back up to the proper price. But it smells really nice, and it's got a catch on the back, if you can see, so you can lock it and unlock it, so it's like childproof, if you've got children. Um, shampoo and conditioner. Now, I have been loving this. It, I've got my hair blonde, so obviously I need to keep the blonde maintained. Now normally I would use silver shampoo and conditioner but I got sick of the smell and I do need to go out and buy some more because once a month I would possibly put silver shampoo on just to keep it maintained to be blonde. But the shampoo I've been using is Garnier Ultimate Blends Shampoo, the colour Illuminator um, and the conditioner. Now, I would say they're really good because they leave your hair very soft. The smell is, I can't, it's organ oil and cranberry, but it doesn't actually smell like cranberries. Like, I don't like the scent of cranberries, but mainly I could smell organ oil in it. And it smelled really nice, so I would use that. Also, I used, um, like, a leave-in hair conditioner. Um, it's a spray. I can't remember the name of it, so I'll get a photo of it online and put it in because I haven't got the bottle with us. It's in my bedroom and I'm not in there and I don't really want to stop the video to go and get it. Also with the shower gel, I use, I think it's original source and they bring out a new one which is a, um, the one I'm using at the moment, cucumber and milk. And it's like a moisturising shower gel and it's really nice. Um, I've been using that for possibly about two months. But as I say, I forgot I'd done favourite videos. So I thought I would put it in this one. But yeah, um, it's original sauce and it's cucumber and milk. And apple and milk. I 
loving that app. Best friends or friends. I'm not 100% how you say it, but if you can say it's best friends and it's that app there. I've been loving that. I am I'm addicted to it. I am on level 72, I would say. I found that app via YouTube because I obviously watch a lot of YouTubers and some of them have been promoting that app and that's the start up. Um, some of them have been promoting that app and as I'm going to say now, this is not a promotion. I'm not getting paid to talk about this app. Um, I just got it via a YouTuber, obviously saying it. I've got my partner addicted, his mum addicted and myself. My partner's on level 80 something, I'm not 100% on 90. I'm on level 70 something because I keep getting stuck because it's really hard. Um, 72, that's the level I'm on. But it, I keep getting stuck and it's really hard. His mum has only just started playing it. Um, but yeah, that's the app, one app, game app that I've been loving. Also, Ovia is an app it's because i'm going through fertility obviously if you've seen the other videos you can tell that there's fertility in it i'm going through fertility so it's the orange app i'll try and point it's that app not that app i don't know what i've clicked on um but you just bring it up it'll probably bring too much information up because obviously you don't want to know half of that but it's just like that it tells you the day that you're on a period it tells you when you're ovulating obviously it just guesses your ovulation if you don't ovulate um it tells you and lets you type in all your symptoms all your if you took pregnancy tests and the negative positive or unclear and um, ovulation test if it's high low or peak um it lets you put in symptoms if you've had headaches it tells you when your period's due and it tells you if you're over period so i think that's a really good app and it's the only one i found that i've actually liked because most of the apps like period tracker and stuff haven't really been up to scratch because when you miss a period they just try and like change your period another app i've been loving is weight watchers now i'm on a weight watchers diet um i have been this would be my second week whilst you're watching this i'll be getting weighed um last week i lost five and a half pound um and it's mainly down to the app because you can track what you've ate and you can track all your points and stuff so i'm gonna i'll load it up and show you like i get 30 points a day like 30 daily points and i get 42 weekly points i try and just stay in my daily points because i don't really want to use my weeklies and last week i think i used two weeklies and i still lost five and a half this week i've well today i've still got 23 points left um because obviously you put what you've ate and it tells you the points it's got a barcode scanner like it's got a barcode scanner so you can scan what you've been buying to see if like it's in the point range now i think i think um slim and world have the same app but i don't think they have the barcode slam slammer scanner um so i'm not 100 percent sure loving apples grapes and bananas them have been my top favorite foods obviously with the diet that i'm on i need to eat more vegetables and fruit and i like most fruits but at the moment the only fruits i've been really wanting are grapes apples and bananas and they're quite handy if you need to tablets in the morning with food because i eat them on the morning for breakfast or i eat alpen bars for the alpen light Weight Watchers, only two points. Um, but you can get like Jaffa Cake ones, you can get Banoffee ones. Um, I've been loving them too. And also wraps. I've been buying tortilla wraps. Um, been buying tortilla wraps with, do you know when you will go to Asdan? They've got ready-made chicken, so it's like chicken breast slices, but it's got like sweet chilli or tikka or something like that. I've been buying them and I've been buying salad. So I've been having the chicken inside the wrap with salad and yeah, it's my favourite meal. I've been drinking 
a lot of well no not a lot i like vimto remake still like it's a still juice it's vimto but they've run out of remakes one it's the only other orange one i actually like um, i can't think of the flavor i'm sure it's mango i don't know it's like a mixed tropical flavor i'm guessing i am um, i've been loving them it's hard to find in certain shops like my shops around my area I don't sell them so when I go shopping that's when I buy it. Um I've been loving Capri Sun Man I don't think it's mango and pineapple, I think it's mango and passion fruit. I put pineapple down, don't I? But um I've been loving that, but the ones where you screw the lid off because when you put the straw in it just goes all over. Speaking from experience it looked like I had wet me bed when I had opened it before. Also been drinking a lot of flavoured water like Volvic, um, always sugar free and I've been drinking a lot of like waters and stuff. If you hear any noise it's just my partner playing on his playstation. Now I've been loving Wentworth Prison. Um, I'm guessing you have all probably watched it or heard of it, but I've been loving that. I've just watched the last episode of season four, which was a massive twist, to be fair. Um, if you have barking, it's me upstairs neighbour, because our dogs are going wild. I'm sorry about that. If you have talking, it might be them, or it might be me partner. Um, I've also been loving X on the Beach. Um, it's on MTV on a Tuesday night at 10pm, like UK time. I've been loving Hollyoaks and EastEnders. They've been my top favourite soaps at the moment because there's a lot going on. haven't really been watching Hol um, Coronation Street because I've always been watching YouTube. So I've got the other soaps but just don't watch them. I possibly would watch them on a Saturday morning when I've just woke up. Like the Omnibus. Probably lie in bed and watch them. I've been loving Justin Bieber and Ray Zalaza, I think they're called, um, Cold Water. Now, I think it's a really good song. Um, I've also been loving John Newman Ole. That's a really good song. Um, Faded, and I can't remember who sings Faded. Uh, but I'll put it down but I'll put it down here if I figure out who sings it. And also a um Calvin Scott, I think it's called, and it's called Dancing on My Own. Callum Scott, Dancing on My Own. I've been absolutely loving that song. Every time it's been on the TV or something, I've had to turn the volume up and start singing along. The top YouTube channels I've been watching lately would be in the past, it would have been in August. Now my friend Michelle from Beauty on a Budget, she's relaunched her channel, she's uploading a lot more and she's actually got upload dates and times. I thought the hiccups. Um, she's been up uploading a lot more so I've been watching her channel over and over. I've been watching her videos more than once. Um, also, Ella and Caleb, which I mentioned in my last video, um, they're going undergoing fertility and stuff, and yeah, so I've been watching them. Um, Carly Musley, Musley, I'm not sure how to pronounce her second name, but she's from the same town as me, and she has a beauty YouTube channel, and I've been watching a lot of her videos because she's just had a newborn baby, so she's got a vlog channel about it, and I've been watching hers. And also the Sukuni Jolies. I've been watching the Sukuni Jolies for about two years now and I'm obsessed with their little family. Um I've always been obsessed with their YouTube channel, so I wouldn't say it would be just an August favourite, I would say it's an all time favourite. Random things I've been loving is a fan. It's a floor standing fan. I'm obsessed with it because of the clomid given it's like obviously hot flushes. I've been using that fan constant, so I'm gonna put that in my favourite. And um, baths, I've been loving long hot baths, like bubble baths with candles and just relaxing in it. 
Weight Watcher meetings, I really enjoy going to them. They give you more inspiration and motivation for to do it. You find out people's stories and overall it's a really good place to go. Like people just go in and get weighed and then go home but I stay for the meetings because my mum's there too and we'll both sit and stay for the meeting because it does give you a lot of motivation and confidence. Sports bras, this, this goes back to the Clomid. Obviously when you're on fertility your boobs really hurt. So I've been loving my sports bra. And a step counter. Now I have a step counter that you put on your wrist. I haven't got on at the moment. But I have a step counter you put on your wrist to tell you how many steps you do in a day. I've been loving that because if you use that step counter and then you put it on as your Weight Watchers fit points, you can eat your fit points. Like however many fit points you use, it tells you like every 1,000 steps I think you get one point and yeah but i haven't really been doing it too much i will be doing it this week and the longer walks with the dog and johnny and obviously bike rides and stuff i need to start getting back in now and that's really all <laughs>